Hey guys, welcome to Acres of Faith Homestead. It's 1046 and I'm still working out in the shop. Um, I'm getting kind of tired though. I just thought I would pull the phone out. Whoa, sorry. Pull the phone out and um, just video a little bit and give you an idea of what life on the farm is like. I try really hard to um, keep it real so that you actually see that living on a homestead is really hard work and I just don't know any way around that unless you're like independently wealthy when you go into it. Um, otherwise there's still bills to pay. So tonight it's a quarter to 11 and um, I did take some time out today. I went over to our neighbors and I got to have iced tea with Stan and Joanne and um, as if that wasn't awesome in itself, I also got to see a wonderful lady that I have not seen for over 20 years, almost 25 probably, and um, so Jean, it was awesome to see you. Um, you look fabulous and you're so fun and I'm just so glad that we got to have tea together today. So um, Dale's out in the truck and he'll be back tomorrow or something like that. But on days like today when I um, just like totally rock in the creative vibe, <laughs> um, I just keep going while I can. And honestly, I'll probably sleep in in the morning and that'll be fine too. But not too much because, um, like I said, when you are homesteading, there are still bills to pay. And so I need to go to the store tomorrow and move a bunch of stuff around. So I'm just going to flip the phone around and let you see what I've been working on, even though it's late, and give you an idea of what my day job looks like. So here we go. It looks like this. Um, I refinish and paint furniture, and so I've got all kinds of projects going on here. Um, this is a project for some friends of ours. Um, they know who they are. <laughs> um, they are moving into a new house, and so um, this beautiful piece here is going to go to them, which is awesome. Probably work on that next week. Uh, this is hardware for a desk that I'll show you in just a moment, and this beautiful dresser is a old waterfall-style dresser. It was painted, and the young lady who's taking it to college with her um, wanted it just a uh, real basic white, so that's what I did and um, yeah so this is my paint room over here this is where I spend a lot a lot a lot of time that um, color doesn't really look true to what it is when I'm um, in real life it's more of a royal blue than that teal that it looks like on the um, camera but that's okay so anyway, I've got all kinds of chairs here, and this is an important part of my working in the paint shop. It is my little DVR with my little TV, and as you can see, some of my favorites that I listen to while I'm working. <laughs> I'm very auditory, as you know, from when I'm working in the kitchen. So anyway, um, yeah, I listen to those things, and um, you've got... a. Uh, chairs and all kinds of stuff in here a couple different tables that I'm working on some so this desk here is a French provincial super cute I love details and this one has some really cool ones so I'm excited about that and then today we made some really cute things here in the shop so I don't usually do Halloween but I did I did today so this one says hocus pocus and it's just a little witch's hat there's a couple of those, and then um, a couple of these, which are really cute. And then some sets here. This table, um, this one goes to our daughter, who's moving to college, and so I'm giving it a little update. And these little pumpkins are so stinking cute. I really like them. Anyway, so they'll be in sets. So anyway, that's, yeah, that's, I'm rambling because I'm tired. That's the kind of stuff I've been working on today, and my helper Darian's been 
helping me and um, yeah so I better get back to it but I just wanted to say hi and just check in with everybody um, yeah have a great night the peas are planted our fall garden is growing 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 and so right now I'm just busy in I'm gonna flip the phone around again here yeah, the fall garden is coming along really good. Um, things are growing and nice. The cicadas um, have been just singing like crazy. Makes, and it feels like fall. Um, no complaints because the weather is absolutely beautiful, which is partially why I'm out in the paint shop late at night because the weather's gorgeous and it just is perfect for working on um, things out here. I do have an air conditioner out here and that of course helps and it takes the humidity out um, but I don't even need it today because it's so nice out. Anyway, um, yeah, craziness. It feels like fall and I don't really want it to be fall yet but I am working on some fall projects for the store. So that's about it. Um, part of having our homestead is that we still work off of the homestead and for most of you, that's probably what it's going to look like, and there's no shame in that. Um, living a homestead or homesteading life does not necessarily mean that you um, ha can give up your outside jobs. And first of all, I don't know that, sorry, I'm like rolling my eyes, I'm just tired. <laughs> um, I don't know that I'd really want to. I love being creative, and Dale loves driving truck, and he is very mechanical, so he loves working on things for other people. I'm not sure that we would really want to give up um, doing those things. I suppose maybe if we played the lottery and then won the lottery, we might rethink that and we might just travel or something. Probably not. We'd probably stay home. Anyway, um, we'd probably just stay home on our homestead. <laughs> Let's be honest. So in the comments, I would love for you to um, just post and say, what would you do if you won the lottery? Um, yeah, let me know. I think we would do some traveling a little bit. There are some places that I would love to see. That would be really fun. But for the most part, um, I think I'd stay home. I might have somebody else clean the house. That would be awesome. Well, um from Nebraska, this beautiful, beautiful night, um, I just want to say I hope you had a great day and I hope you have a great week and thank you for tuning in to this video that was about absolutely nothing. Um, I just was thinking about those who watched the videos and wanted to say howdy and I hope you have a great day and thanks. Thanks for sharing part of my day and um yeah, share this video if you are so inclined. Like it, please. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do that. Have a blessed day. Count your blessings because they are many, many, many. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.